All right, guys, we have a really fun episode. We're heading up to manufacturing because we just actually got the new motors and prop combinations from Zor. So basically, they sent us this awesome new motor prop combination custom built for our hovercraft. If you guys remember when we did our B17, we wanted to see how much power we got from one of the Zor motors and prop combos we put on the back of a bike. Because these motors are basically made for an EDF, we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a rocket-powered kayak that we can then test the thrust out. It's gonna be the same kind of back thing from our land speeder. We're gonna cut it out right now. We're gonna put it to the test, see how it goes. Got some motion, let's do it. All right, lock of foam is up. I got a file on my computer. We're gonna cut out the ducts. Dave, you're gonna be starting on the structure? Yes, yeah, I've got uh, the aluminum up there and everything now, so all I have to do is cut it and bolt some motors on it. Over lunch, we'll bring the kayak. Two more pieces to go. So this piece here I'm the most excited about. Um, basically, uh, the original land speeder has these cool louvers on the front cone. Now we're gonna hot wire that in by hand on the actual land speeder, but I thought, oh my gosh, I know how to draw that. So if this works good, this should kind of emulate the castle with the land speeder. You ready? Wow, look at that. You remember that, that detail? Yeah. I like it. But I think it sits, it ultimately sits something like this. All right, let's put it all together and see how it looks. There's a jet engine. <laughs> I love this machine. So Dave doesn't know that I drew this. I can't wait to shock him. Let's take it over and we'll, uh, we'll give it to him. He'll put the motors in. I'm gonna drive to my house, pick up some kayaks. This is gonna be fun. Hey, David. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got a rocket motor that for looks you. awesome. So I wanted to put that scale detail we talked about. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about and doing that on the full size. Every time we like cut something new, we learn a new technique. You should have seen the G code pattern. It was a cool. It looked like a big old flower. <laughs> so that looks awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I've already got the mount made. I just need oh, to. Nice. Uh, Figure out center on that, which is always a fun little treat. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Cool. Well, this is yours. Thank uh, you. I'll be back in probably about 30 minutes. All right. Perfect fit. I like it. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see this thing spinning up. Feel the amount of power it has. Oh, look at this. We got our kayak. <laughs> the old stun dolphin. <laughs> so if you guys don't remember this, um, the last time I was out in the water with this one specifically was when we built a huge sea duck. We were back to the North Canton office during this time, but we actually used the sea duck to pull the kayak out. We flew it around and we hooked it up and we pulled ourselves back in. <laughs> the funny thing was it was in the middle of the winter. So if anything bad happened, it would have been a really cold walk home. So um, basically we're gonna bring it back. I like this one, we, we, I have an open one, but this is so flat. And look at these hard points. Oh yeah. Yes. I might even have some PVC or something we, have, we can stick in here. We have three major hard points right here, here, and here. And I think, let's, let's, do we have the ability to grab it real quick? Um, that's... Okay, that's a little bit bigger than I Rocket kayak! Can you see that? <laughs> we can put the sponsons out. We can put one bar here, one straight out this way, and then one bar just in the front probably. Yeah, it's gonna sit right about there. Yeah. Kind of like right where my head is. <laughs> yeah, don't don't uh, wear a scarf. Yeah, I won't do that. <laughs> so these motors, you guys are doing some testing. I was saying 40 pounds. It's actually 36. 36 pounds. 36, 36 yep. pounds. So sorry about that, guys. I was wrong. 36 yeah. pounds is a lot. Big motor. Yeah, yeah. The other ones are 48. Yeah, yeah. Correct. I got a piece of foam back at the at manufacturing that came out of the center section. I'll take some measurements and start cutting on that. Yeah, perfect. And then you're gluing this all together. Yeah, and I'm going to paint it too. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. What do you think, like a good gray? And... Actually, I was I was gonna paint it red. Yeah. With blue acme on the side. <laughs> <laughs> and you could be the wily coyote. I like it. I like it. Very cool. All right, cool. Well, there you go. Uh, get it. I'll start cutting, and I'll be back. Awesome. I'll uh, <laughs> hopefully have this motor all mounted then. like we've done this before. Maybe, once or twice. What I'm actually doing here is I'm putting some hot glue in here, gluing it together, and then I'm coming back with Foam Safe CA from Zab to just uh, make sure that it sets up good. I like using both, so that way uh, the hot glue stays flexible and the Zap kind of gives it a harder, you know, more rigid finish at the end. All right, Dave. All right, so this is our first test of our new props and motors for yes. the hovercraft. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what it does only on 6S. I'm not running 12S right now. Okay. I'm already starting to shake a little bit, to be honest <laughs> with you. You're freaking out. I'm freaking out, man. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Oh, I can feel it already. Even half throttle on 6S, and I'm scared. <laughs> like it's like I could feel it. Like was it pulling in your shirt, dude? All right. I'm Pushing out a lot of air. You got some power. Yeah, dude. It's All pushing right. out a lot of air. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for the uh, the muffled oh, noise up here. Yeah, dude, that was sweet. Dude, that was cool. That's too much fun. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. Yep. So Dave and I we were eating lunch together and we had an epiphany. It's like. It's a rocket Acme jet engine. It's not an Acme rocket. So we decided to draw some art deck. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks awesome. Does that look better? That is incredible. Now it's a rocket. <laughs> we'll put one here, but under here, just not worry about the bottom. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to pull it up or not. Uh, just give it a little bit. <laughs> that is terrifying and awesome all at the same time. I may want to, we'll, we'll do that very last. <laughs> Safety 30. That's terrifying. I think there's enough gap there. I mean, it's not gonna. I mean, I would have to get sucked into it or it'd have to dislodge and it come down. And go, like that. By that time, they can cut it. Who, who's running the controls? <laughs> oh, you're running your own controls. Yeah, because otherwise we'll have to have like a cell, you know, communication and. Yeah. Oh. Go, go full throttle until metal. Josh screams and cries. And then I'm waiting. Screaming. I'm waiting for for Josh to capsize, and all you see is a remote being held up. <laughs> there you go. Save the remote. Oh my yeah. gosh, that looks fantastic. Let me do this side. Oh, I love it. Like it? I love it. I love the fact that other companies are as crazy and weird as we are. Uh, you got Zor being like, we yeah. gotta give you more power. And then you got how our phone factory is like, we're sending you more tools because we want you to keep doing crazy things. And then Diamondback as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're, they're like, here, use this to at least make yourself a little bit safe. Yes. <laughs> Safety. Good. Are you catching the end under? If you. Well, you have the whole thing. I like to do round ones just because. Clear. This is the coolest one day build ever. Oh yeah. Look at that. And then these actually pop off here. Yeah. The only downside is that, well I guess that's not too far. We'll just put a little bit. It's eight foot, so we're within legal limits. You 
do realize this is absurd. Yeah. It is awesome. My favorite thing was when, when we have meetings and people walk in and they look around and I'm like, what are you doing? Right. Yeah, it's in the back of the truck. Over here. We lost an Evo, we found it. Alright, here we go. Now we can do the episode, guys. We're good. We, go, we, we don't have to go back mm. home now. Really? Right, right, so you? we're here at Lake Mohawk, thanks to these awesome folks here. Uh, we have lots of great community members that come out regularly to fly at Edgewater. And also, we've been here before. We've actually gotten to do, let's see, Stefan. We pulled the kayak, actually this very kayak with the monster sea duck. Yep. Oh, that is so cool. We did the flying kayak here. Ooh. Yes! Oh. Yeah. Uh, otter? Otter. Oh, ah. it's going the wrong way. Ah. We've done a lot of different ones out here. Well, this is probably gonna be one of our craziest contraptions here, and I can't wait. We're on the back bay here, and this is where the water is the most calm. And uh, basically what's gonna happen, we're gonna get this put together, get our sponsors on, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do with it. So we gotta do some gluing and stuff, but that's not a big deal because we have a pretty cool uh, uh, portable battery, don't we, Stefan? We do. We brought the uh, the Anker 767 portable power station out with us. This thing's like 20, 48 watt hours. So it's a good size little beast. Um, it's gonna power pretty much 99% of your all appliances, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna be using it for like glue guns and hot uh, wire foam factory uh, utensils, um, just in case we need to like cut something off or shave something off aerodynamically, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're gonna be actually gluing on these fins as well with the glue gun, which will be plugged into the Anker. Uh, so we're really excited about it, honestly. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome. And it's super portable because it's got that little handle and it's not too heavy, so it works out really nice. You've even got the option to do uh, solar panels as well, which plugs into the back here. Um, it's a pretty amazing machine, honestly. And the cool thing about these little buttons here is you can select which section you want to power so it's not draining your battery from all different sections. Um, you can turn those on and off as you will. Um, if you guys want one of these things, uh, this is the Anker 767 portable power station. Uh, check the link in the description below to learn more about it. So if you want one, go grab one. You're not going to regret it. Um, and I'm going to go make sure that these guys have everything that they need uh, to get this thing in the water. Oh, that's cold! What do you think is going to happen here, Stefan? Well, free. first off, he's floating. So oh, that's that huge. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds like a jet engine! <laughs> I think he's going to have torque roll issues. <laughs> you have torque roll issues! We got a little, little wobble jobble. That's okay. You guys ready? <laughs> We are right. <laughs> Is he just gonna go in a circle? Uh, do you he think? might. <laughs> it's, there's he a might. learning curve to this. Yeah, it's I mean. correct. I don't know if anybody's done this before. I would say probably not. Oh, look at that! Look at it! Look at him go! He's already picking up some speed. Let's go, Josh! <laughs> he oh like it. It Let's go! <laughs> He's just like <laughs> he can go. You're doing it! It was doing good. it, dude! <laughs> that was half throttle! <laughs> and it was still picking up speed, too. Yeah! It's amazing. Alright, come on out! <laughs> Alright, so no we're gonna go to the boat. My, my we're gonna go out on the lake with our friend Josh Bixter and make it happen. Da -da -da. Who's calling you? Josh. Hello? Hey, I just figured I'll put you on speakerphone. Is it, can you hear me? Oh, perfect. There you go. Hey. <laughs> I had you on you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's picking up more speed. It, it definitely has torque issues yeah, though. Like the torque roll. <laughs> He's gonna go into circle. <laughs> it's working! It's working! Look at his shirt flapping <laughs> in the wind. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh my god! <laughs> we can't keep up! <laughs> we 
Look at him, he's surfing! <laughs> Get it, dude! Get it, bro! <laughs> I can feel the air coming out. I, look at it! <laughs> I can feel it! That's amazing! Was that, was that full throttle? Was that full throttle? Uh, yeah, that's full throttle. That's right. <laughs> I want to see you go straight as fast as you can. I want to see me go straight too. <laughs> got some torque issues. Like <laughs> lever somewhere. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> we've got. We've got. <laughs> what are? What do they call? What do you call those things? Sponsons. Sponsons. One of the sponsons fell off. The speed, the speed's actually about the same from half throttle up. Hmm. Um, you know, we never did uh, do a throttle calibration. Oh! That might have something to do with it. <laughs> it almost seems like the efficiency. Did someone want to fix me? Yes. <laughs> Jim, thanks for the vote. So it's pretty cool. Um, it seems from about like third throttle to half throttle is where it's the most efficient. And after that, it's actually, you can almost feel like my body's like blocking the air. Oh, gotcha. My shirt's going straight back off my back and everything. Like sink down inside of the boat more. <laughs> Make yourself streamlined. Lean forward. <laughs> okay, that, that might be worse. <laughs> All right, your hands clear? Hands are clear. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like more power. It does sound better. <laughs> you see, calibrated. Calibration. We are ready and rearing to go, sir. Let's see what it's got. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, wow. Hey, Don't lean over. <laughs> you got none. You got none. Don't lean over. <laughs> so my, my theory, my theory of friction fitting and pivoting freely is out the door, guys. You know what you say? Don't lean anywhere. It's really hard to do that. All right. What do you say? My goal is just to bring it back home, and you guys get my pontoons. Yep, we can do that. All right, here we go. You here might goes, get some more speed without the pontoons Here goes nothing, Jay Biggs. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Absolutely ridiculous. One of the most ridiculous things we've ever done. I need some stabilization in my life. That's why I got you guys. I think we need two motors in our lives. You know what? Two motors would be good with differential stabilization. Matter of fact, guys, if you want to see uh, round two on this, too bad. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to give myself a little throttle. I'll try to guide it in. <laughs> All right, guys. So I, I consider this a success. What do you think, Stefan? 100%. We were able to move them around, enough power. He's still having a blast. And uh, make sure if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, because we're not done with this. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs> All right, second episode. We just make it full blown RC.